Hi everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Help My People show and today I'm very excited because today we have another special guest with us and his name is Pavan and he's all the way from Modika Jagasiyayabu, Gujarat Yes, and thank you so so much Pavan Namaste Ji, Namaste Namaste Bohat shukriya when I told you that I'm working in a very small project of helping my people and you really accepted my offer wholeheartedly that's why I'm really honored and privileged to have you in our show I'm also honored to be with you and also to talk about the journey of my life and also to share with the other fellow students maybe this conversation will help also them to also make the informed decision yes for sure so guys basically he finished his bachelor's for free and he studied his bachelor's that was the government funded everything his entire education bachelor's and not only bachelor's but right now he's pursuing masters in material science engineering and that is also free yes and he's a very uh, intelligent student in general and then we are going to <laughs> yes he is smiling but it's true guys so we're going to learn a lot from him okay and then like yes so please stay tuned guys and watch till the end yes so um, Pavan, could you please introduce yourself to our audience yeah, yeah so hello everyone and uh, my name is Pavan I am from Gujarat India I have completed my bachelor's in metallurgical engineering from Gujarat and I am pursuing my material science masters from Germany and I am living in the Münster currently mm -hmm. and could you please tell us more about your childhood yeah sure so yeah. Like I am belong to the middle class Indian family and I grown up in the small town near to the Ahmedabad which is the city of the Gujarat and also like uh, I am coming from the family which uh, sometimes have the financial uh, tough situations and also and uh, so that things uh, was uh, a motivation for me to change the financial situation of my family so I decided to excel in my studies and also to my career so I can help my family financially and I can also make myself financially independent. So this was uh, uh, what uh, decisions I make in my childhood. It was um, nice to hear that because not every kid in the family thinks like you, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah, you were as a child, you really thought about um, well ahead about the situations of your family condition and that motivated you to excel in your studies, in your career. So that's nice. Yes. But and okay. Pavan, uh, what are the good and bad uh, decisions uh, during your education? Yeah, so it will start uh, during my high school and also uh, to my uh, bachelor studies. So for mm -hmm. example, when I was in high school, everybody was taking the science stream. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be good. And after science, everybody was taking engineering stream. I thought it would be good. Yeah, it is good. I like it, really like it. But this is not the only thing. There are so many other things also. Right. So maybe during my schools, I would have knowledge of the different disciplines. Mm -hmm. Then I might have also choose a more uh, field that more is suitable with my interest is. Mm -hmm. So I would say the uh, bad decisions I've made is uh, to follow the peer pressure and to follow the competition around me and the good decision is that that no matter whatever i decided i try to put my 100 percent i try to learn the new things so even though some decisions are not good, uh, that much right still i am happy that i because of my learning capability uh, i can do good in my studies and also i'm doing good with my career mm -hmm. So since you talk about decisions, Pavan, I would also like to know, like, as a person, when somebody is choosing his or her career, what kind of decisions should uh, he or she take in advance? Yeah, so in advance, first thing is we have to pre-plan the things mm -hmm. and uh, we have to do our own research. We have to meet the people. Mm -hmm. We have to read a lot. We have to read online sources also. and. Uh, it is good to uh, to follow the people but at the same time uh, there are so many people who wants to influence us so we have to make the right decisions that 
to whom we want to follow to and so we have to compare all the options and then uh, we can make the informed uh, choice of our career so that i would say that uh, follow your heart first and then to the people and also do your own research mm -hmm. i mean everything has a price to pay in the end so it all depends on what you do what you saw you will reap so it's wise to take informed decisions do your own research properly so that yeah. you end up in a good place in the future yeah, yeah. right mm -hmm. And Pavan, like, could you please tell us why did you choose Germany and not any other country? Yeah, yeah this is a very re relevant question. Uh -huh. So after my bachelor's, I wanted to go to the abroad for my uh, higher studies because uh, I thought that uh, studying abroad would give me the better opportunities. Mm -hmm. so, and But I also have the financial limitations, mm -hmm. but the countries like Canada, Australia, US, they have uh, uh, very expensive studies programs mm -hmm. and then uh, I uh, I came to know that Europe and especially Germany is offering the high class education without uh, tuition fees right. and then uh, uh, I tried to uh, get the knowledge about the Germany and also the education system and then I found out the courses and the universities in Germany which is similar to my interest mm -hmm. so uh, this is how I decided Germany and I found my course so I started my application and uh, fortunately uh, I came able to get the admission here and now uh, I am studying my masters here mm -hmm. yes Pavan thank you so much for your answer uh, I'm like everybody when we are applying to Germany India, the application process, it's very different. We mm -hmm. go for uh, entrance exam and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But in Germany, the application process itself is very different. Uh, you need to prepare motivation letter, CV and mm -hmm. whatnot, a lot of documents. And you also need to be really prepared well ahead of time. So what challenges did you face when you were applying during that time? Yeah, I think uh, this question will be helpful also to the students who wants to come to Germany. Mm -hmm. And so, for um, first of all, we can uh, start with the checklist of the applications to the different universities. So we can narrow down, narrow down our search from which universities we want to go, which mm -hmm. uh, courses we want to go, and we can make the list of the all documents what we need, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, for example, CV or the motivation later, and for that we can have some online courses and also we can ask our professors and we can see the videos on that and that's why this is how we can craft our uh, all the letters and certificates and also uh, if needed we can also get the help of a uh, professional consultant mm -hmm. but I would say that uh, there is uh, also huge market of the foreign consultancies in India right. but they are not sometimes offering the right advices mm -hmm. so maybe you can take the help from them but at the same time don't uh, lose your own research and don't uh, just follow the consultant blindly so because they at the end of the day they are just want to earn the money but this is your life your career so you have to become self-reliant on how to you want to navigate your applications and what are the needed uh, informations and certificate for that. Mm -hmm. So this is helpful for students to know. Okay, I would also like to add some points out there. Like if you really are uh, interested to come to Germany, then I think it really makes sense to really do your own research instead of, you know, taking help from consultancies. Because I came here without taking help from any consultancy, which means I didn't waste any money. I just did my whole entire research and I reached here. So you also did the same. So if you and me can reach here without taking help from anybody, then why not you? Right. Yeah. Because if we do our own research, then we also get to learn more. Not right. only the one that we are researching and we get more ideas in that way we grow because we are going outside of our comfort zone mm -hmm. and the application itself it like it takes a lot of uh, patience it takes mm -hmm. a lot of time and mm -hmm. effort mm -hmm. so if you are not ready to take those kind of it's like a full-time job sometimes the application because you need to prepare a lot of documents and in mm -hmm. India it's the process is really different out there you go and apply for entrance exams and stuff like that and yeah. you get your um, seats 
based on your merit. If you are good in studies, then you get it easily. If you have 100 percentage, but here, no. Mm -hmm. They really try to dig inside you. They really see if this person is really capable for this X, Y, Z studies. Mm -hmm. So you have to really make your motivation letter. So now here, when you take help from consultancy and the consultancy write the motivation letter for you, then I think it makes no sense because... Um, yeah, it is not your real story. Exactly, because your mo the motivation letter will be, you know, based on your real experiences, mm -hmm. on your real struggles and on your real interest. What do you, yes, so it really makes sense that you really make the motivation letter for your own and really do your own research and really try hard because as long as you give your best, then nobody can stop you at the end of the day. So, yeah. yes, that's my little piece of advice in addition to your advice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, surely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pavan, could you please tell us um, what are the struggles that you faced uh, when you apply for these abroad studies? Okay, which which one to start first? You know, it was a little bit confusing because you also have the visa thing in one hand. Mm -hmm. You also have, uh, you know, uh, the application process and every university is very precise. Like mm -hmm. every university has their specific document requirements, mm -hmm. have their specific deadlines. Mm -hmm. So how did you figure out initially? I know it will be a struggle, right? Yeah. Because there will be some students out there who want to apply and they have no proper information because there are some students maybe who wants to apply everything on their own, like mm -hmm. you and me. Yeah. Where we did it. So, could you please like tell us uh, how you figure it out and uh, what advice would you like to give them so that they can, you know, really save the time and mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, like uh, after my bachelor's, I was not sure that I really wanted to go to which country and, for example, to Germany also. So after my bachelor's, I started looking for the options and then the application procedure and the collecting all documents took me six months. But that was my mistake. Like I could have planned my abroad study during my bachelor study itself. So and I can also learn the languages. I can also learn the English for the IELTS requirement. Mm -hmm. So this pre-planning during my previous study itself would have, would have helped me to save my time. So this is the first of all the thing that we have to decide as soon as possible that what we want to do. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, uh, very important to save the money and save the time. Right, right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I would say that uh, don't hesitate to meet the people and ask so many questions because mm -hmm. they, our seniors, our professors, or any instructor can really help us. Right. So this is very good to also meet the people and know their knowledge. Thank you so much for your nice tip. I completely agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, Pavan, what were your impressions uh, when you reached Germany? Because I know that the culture is very different and I know that you will have a lot of things to say about this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the living in Germany. There are a uh, few things which I want to highlight. For example, here every people have the, their privacy, their freedom, they have respect. And so this all things will enhance our social life. And also uh, if we talk about the government, so we have the very nice facilities of infrastructure, of the educations, right. of transportations. Right. So uh, we don't have any uh, uh, material uh, hurdles to come in our way of our goals. So our only target is just to study, just to learn the new skills and not uh, about uh, that uh, unnecessary social issues. So this is what uh, is helpful for me by living in Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And what are the struggles that you faced in Germany when you were new here? Was language a barrier for you? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> here it, uh, it is very difficult uh, to mingle with the people without knowing the local language. Right. Here it is a German. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is a, a struggle and also uh, it is um, in India like we are very familiar with the stranger also we talk with them but it is not here in Germany we really have to make the effort to make the friends yeah. so this is also one thing that we have to consider uh, in terms of our social life in Germany. Mm -hmm.
Yes, thank you. Uh, Balman, I have another question. Now this is related to your field, okay? Yeah. So now back then you told me that um, the phone that we touch, the yeah. touch screen, yeah. right now it's very convenient. But back then when we touch, it was a little bit difficult, right? Yeah. And then, um, yes, please tell us more about that, your field, material science engineering. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, first of all, during my bachelor's, uh, like I wanted to do uh, something related with engineering and research, mm -hmm. which can help the society. So, th that is why I chose the material science, because ultimately, uh, it will help to enhance the technology and reduce the human effort. For example, the previous computers were uh, very large in their size, in the size of the big room. Mm -hmm. But now we have very small uh, laptops, small uh, mobile, and also the small computer at the size of the button. Mm. So this enhancement can only be possible because we have developed such a material which has such a high efficiency. Mm. So this kind, all of this research and engineering. I can do in my material science field. So that is what the motivation for me to study this course. And uh, I'm hopeful that I can do something great to the society. It's really interesting for me personally, Pawan, because as a child, I remember that in 1990, I don't exactly remember, but my father bought a computer and it was really big. And then in order to shift from one room to another, it was a struggle for us because it was really heavy, you know, but yeah. as and when I grew up gradually, um, you know, like the technologies got really advanced and yeah. like the laptops came and mobile phones came and everything. So it was interesting to see those upgrading things, but and uh, never did I knew that there is also, you know, people behind the sense as a child, as a little girl. So it was interesting. Your field was interesting for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, Pavan, could you also tell me how can one a person can upgrade himself or herself for job prospects? Yeah. So during our studies in Germany, our target is to complete the subjects and achieve the grades. But that only will not help us to uh, get excel in our career. So we have to also look for uh, other activities during our study. For example, we can join the courses uh, which are not the part of our curriculum. Mm -hmm. We can go to the seminars, conferences. And if it is possible, we can uh, work under some professors right. to their labs. Mm -hmm. And this way we really can get the knowledge of the uh, industrial equipments and the whole facilities of the scientific research. So this kind of experiences will make us job ready and it will help us also to crack the interview and to get job. So this is what uh, uh, in conclusion I would say that not only subjects but also focus on the learning the practical things from whatever sources we are uh, having in our campus. Mm -hmm. That's a very good tip, Pavan. And then you also mentioned that you are you were current you are currently working in the field of sustainability as a work student, right? Yeah. So please tell us how was your entire application process and what tips would you like to give to those people out there who are interested to apply for work student in Germany? And what are the advantages compared to work student and the normal part-time job? Because in Germany, part-time job is basically just for survival. You don't get any professional skills. Yeah. But if you're working as a work student, then mm. even uh, you not only pay very less tax as a student, yeah. And you not only get decent money, mm -hmm. but you also get good experience where you yeah. can put that in your CV. Yeah. So please give your advices to our audience out there. Yeah, so yeah, uh, this is a very relevant question that I would want to highlight. Mm -hmm. Because in, in Germany, during our study, we also have to finance our whole studies and right. also our personal expenses. Mm -hmm. So we can either do the uh, normal part-time jobs, which are not technical, which is not related with our studies. But that things will help us to be financially uh, good, but it will not enhance our skills and our knowledge. Right. So uh, it is good for the sometimes, but our target should be to get the technical experiences during our studies. So for that, we have the work student here in Germany, uh, that means that we are working for some companies related with our field and they are also paying out decently so we can mm -hmm. finance our studies and everything. 
So to get the work student, as I mentioned that I was very active to get the experiences from my universities and I attended some courses and seminars. Mm -hmm. So those knowledge helped me uh, to decide that I'm interested in the environmental side. Mm -hmm. So I started doing the courses related with that. And this all experiences uh, helped me to make the powerful CV, mm -hmm. which I applied to the uh, to the uh, company which is offering the, the work student position. So this way I make my CV, I contacted the employees from that company, I uh, tried to meet them personally. So this all the networking, having the knowledge and proactive steps helped me to get the uh, work student job. I mean, coming out of your comfort zone and then trying every single thing, trying every opportunity that comes your way. Mm -hmm. Really helpful, right? Yes. Yeah. And then, Pavan, how did people around you influence you or motivated you or something like that? Yeah, this is also a nice question. I would say that uh, it's very important to have the good people around uh, us. Right. So, when I was in India, like I always wanted to meet uh, uh, people from different parts, different cultures, different language. Mm -hmm. So fortunately in Germany, we have chance to meet many people with different backgrounds. Right. For example, I am coming from Gujarat, but I can still manage to meet people with a different part of India, which is which might not be possible in my state itself. But it, it became possible when, when I started living with uh, people in the Germany, uh, like in the sharing apartment or during the college uh, um, campuses or any events. So this all the ways we can connect with the people, we know their knowledge is and they can also guide us, they can influence us. So yeah, that is very good thing that uh, uh, we can explore the different people and different cultures here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I mean, in Germany, the education is free, so this attracts a lot of international students mm -hmm. and a lot of international students from all parts of the world. They come here and then they pursue their further studies. So in that way, it's like you come to Germany, but it's like you only come here and then you get exposure of all the different countries. Now, this is something yeah. which I find it really cool because mm -hmm. like you said, you get to learn a lot from this kind of people and you yourself as a person also, you can really grow. Yeah. You can really share ideas. Yeah. And I find that really interesting and really cool. And then my friends are also really nice international friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Pavan, how long are you in Germany now? It has been uh, two years in Germany. Mm -hmm. And... What is the most thing that you miss about your home country? <laughs> yeah, it is uh, definitely the food and family. Right. But, uh, family, uh, maybe I can try to meet them once in a year, or twice in a year. Mm -hmm. But food is a daily business. <laughs> so yeah, I miss the Indian food. You miss the Indian food. Yeah. And could you also tell more about the food that you choose and you select to eat? Because I, you told me back then that when you buy a food, then you are always so concerned about the amount of protein or carbohydrates or nutrients, fats and everything. And then like sustainability, since you are yeah. interested in sustainability, you are also concerned like Germans. Because yeah. some Germans, they like sustainability. Yeah. yeah, so you also like take care about the environment and everything. So you yeah. are very cautious whatever you are buying and eating and consuming. So why do you do that and what and what are the benefits that you get from doing that? Please tell us more. Yeah, about thank you for asking things. this question. Mm -hmm. So it all started um, when I living started living independently. So I have to make my own decisions mm -hmm. as small as that what things I want to buy. So this kind of freedom is help me to how I can make the decisions for the food. So pre in the beginning, I was just targeting that I want to get the affordable food. Mm -hmm. But later on the time, I also realized that uh, what kind of specific food I want to buy, what is the impact behind that food? Is it uh, really environmentally sustainable or it is really good for my health? Or So now what I'm looking for the food is it has to be like a nutrition for our body. It has to be sufficient amount of protein, mm -hmm. less sugar and also the variety of foods. So these things I was not aware when I was in my home country because everything was uh, 
planned by my family right yeah so when i started uh, doing my independent shopping it might be sound very small thing but it it uh, develop our lifestyle how we want to live so this all things ultimately can uh, enhance my health also mm-hmm. and also i become more and more interested in the food science that is what the new domain which i have learned so yeah that is really helpful for me mm-hmm. so see pavan since you told me that you are interested in sustainability right yeah. and your work student is also about sustainability now i am curious to know about your job what do you exactly do in your work student job because i know that you work 20 hours or more or yeah. less right every yes. week and you don't have to do the normal part time job mm-hmm. which is really cool because you are not only improving your cv Mm-hmm. but you also gaining professional work experience so please tell us uh, more about your um, you know your work that you are mm-hmm. doing so that maybe if there is anybody who is interested to mm-hmm. work in this field they can get a brief overview yes yeah sure so um, i'm doing my material science but here in the germany it is uh, we have advantage that we just don't have to go into specific field we can choose whatever we want right. so even though i'm doing material science Uh, my interest in the field of environmental science and sustainability so i can do similar courses during my study itself and mm-hmm. based on that experience i can start working so about my work is that i am focusing on the sustainable uh, footprints uh, sustainable products and the carbon footprint behind the product so for example um, every product will will impact on the environment for example this cup mm-hmm. it is made of the ceramic mm-hmm. but m- if that cl- cup is made from plastic then people will think that polymer or plastic is not good for the environment but um, on on which fact they are saying that so it is based on the fact that there is the processing there is a the manufacturing and there is a the lots of database behind it right so to calculate those the to make the scientific scientific uh, acknowledgement about the products we need the scientific database to make the carbon footprints of that products so as a part of the scientific research team my duty is to find the research data to make the database to make the software mm-hmm. which will help the companies around the globe mm-hmm. to calculate their carbon pro- footprint of their products and this will ultimately will help to improve uh, the society to and decrease our uh, detrimental if impact on our environment so this is what i wanted to do that i wanted to do something meaningful for society mm-hmm. and this job has given me opportunity to at least do a tiny part of from my side to do good for the environment It's really nice that somebody is taking care of environment because in India it's not very common to hear people saying that they are taking care of environment unlike Germany. <laughs> yes, yeah. and uh, like you said you have to research a lot. So do yeah. you have any plans like after you finish your studies maybe you would like to pursue PhD or you are aiming for a job and what are your goals for the future? That is also nice question. So I always enjoyed the engineering and also if it is applied science like whatever the knowledge i i am having mm-hmm. if i can apply to solve some problems mm-hmm. this domain i would like to work mm-hmm. so that's why i am targeting the also the job prospects which give me this chance to not only do the fundamental research but also to do applied research and to solve the real life problem mm-hmm. so my target is to go in the field of sustainability and the engineering So now Pawan my next question to you is what advice would you like to give to the youth in India Yes Yes yeah, so I will conclude everything whatever I told that uh, uh, we have to do the, our own research we have to preplan the things we have to take the guidelines guidance from as many as sources we can mm-hmm. we have to explore all the sources we have all opportunities we have mm-hmm. and don't stick to just one part one path We have lots of paths to do our career to good for the job. बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया और बहुत 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 धन्यवाद कि आपने आया था नोकमाल फील इन फील डाल और I will see you all guys in the next episode and thank you so much for being patient and watching till the end.